So I want to talk in this video about overcoming, overriding your old conditioning when it comes to narcissistic addiction, narcissistic abuse. So think to yourself, if you've ever gone through the Dunkin' Donuts drive through and you see the sign for the chocolate croissant, and it looks really good, but you're like, nah, I shouldn't. I want to, but I shouldn't. It's the exact same thing with a narcissistic hoover. Your animal brain wants to give in to that temptation for that dopamine rush, but your higher mind knows that you should not, right? The difference is with narcissistic relationships, people say, oh no, I'm in love. I'm in love with the chocolate croissant. The choc I can have babies with the chocolate croissant. I can marry the chocolate croissant. Do you want to marry a chocolate croissant? Do you really want to marry a chocolate croissant? Okay, it'll taste good for a second. It'll make you feel sick. It's nutritionally bankrupt. Do you want to marry a chocolate croissant? The answer is no, you don't. You really don't. This is the way you have to look at narcissistic hoovering, narcissistic addiction to get out of it. And the way you do this is by tapping into your higher mind, which is your prefrontal cortex, also known as the neocortex. I've talked a little bit about the mythology of this part of the brain, the frontal lobe, right? In Harry Potter, his scar is on his forehead because magic in the wizarding world represents agency. It represents free will. You have to choose agency. You have to choose free will. And this is why Harry has that scar there to represent the part of his brain, the part of your brain that overcomes your animal conditioning. When, you're, when you succumb to narcissistic hoovering. You're giving into your base animal self. You need to override that. Also in the Matrix, uh, Neo is called Neo because it he is the, the frontal lobe. The animal conditioning of the Matrix wants to pull him back into the Matrix. He overcomes it with the red pill or you know, also when you make the sign of the cross, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Father is your higher self located in your forehead, your, your frontal lobe, your prefrontal cortex. Um, also, it's represented by swords and tarot. Or I'm not going to say tarot, I don't care. It's represented by sword, the sword, suit, and tarot. You can read Way of the Tarot by Jodorowsky and read a little bit more about that. You have to override your old conditioning. One way to do this is to embrace and expect the pain of the severance from the narcissistic person. You have to expect it and you have to embrace it because it, it feels so strongly, but that's what's keeping you from ascending. That's what's keeping you from being in your higher mind, the high vibration. You don't want to give in to the low vibrational impulse of giving in to the chocolate croissant because you will feel sick if you feast on chocolate croissants. If that's all you have in your life, if you depend on chocolate croissants to make your life stable and meaningful, you're, you're going to be out of luck. It's not, a, it's not a possible way to live. So when you feel that pain, you can call upon your higher self. You can call upon God, the natural order, the great spirit, whatever it is you call upon and say, you know, Help me be more than just an animal. Help me be a full human being and claim my own agency, claim my free will to overcome this temptation to succumb to the addiction of this narcissistic person. And this is a pain. Help me embrace the pain of this transition. It's a pain that helps me ascend into my higher self. Help me remember this prayer in times of struggle. I want to be human. I want to be a real boy. I don't want to act on my conditioning anymore. I am more than that. Set me on the path that only God can set before me. No narcissistic user could ever set before you a glorious path to God. That's not what they want. It's not what they're trying to give you. You know, sin is missing the mark. It's, it's miss and your mark here, your target, is your own humanity. And you get that by claiming your agency.